Yeah, I have to say like the intro thing. You can do whatever you want. We're going to clip it later. We'll edit okay. this later. Right. Just stay in the red map. Okay. All right. On the red map. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Hi, everybody. We're going to talk about gun defenses. Is it anyone yet? Yeah. Let me know when I should start. Yeah. Huh. Don't start. No, you might want to come at this angle. Wait, he's talking here. Okay. Good call. Are you rolling, Laura? Oh. First of all, I'd like to comment on how hot the videographer is. <laughs> I'd like to comment on how hot our videographer is today. Sweet Laura is here. Thank you. It's hard to concentrate when she's behind the camera because she's used to being in front of the camera. <laughs> anyway, okay. All right. We're going to talk about gun defenses and a couple of things. Um, first of all, uh, there are three basic tenets to gun defense. One, get off the line of fire, or we call it the center line. So immediately you have to get off the line. Two, you need to secure the weapon. And three, take away the weapon. All right. Eventually, all gun defenses are exactly the same thing with those three things in mind. But of course, there we'll, we'll film and show 30 or 40 of them, and uh, you will see the different te technical aspects to each one. However, when all is said and done, and you do this for a long, long time, they all become the same kind of uh, defense. And it's those three principles hold. You know, off center line, secure the weapon, take the weapon away. Uh, we have to be realistic about this, okay? Um, we're going to talk about guns being pressed up against you, then maybe one, two, three, four feet away. After that, the gun defense, there's no gun defense, it's running, okay? And, and getting shelter, cover. All right, so anyway, so we're going to start from the beginning with guns up and in you. Now, there are a lot of things out there on gun defense, so you have to pick and choose what makes the most sense. Um, and certain crop and got schools will adhere to one particular principle, like cupping. And I'll talk about cupping versus uh, body control, et cetera, et cetera. But at any rate, again, they all become the same thing. Points of uh, safety with this. Your gun holder needs to not have his finger in the gun, first of all, because it's going to get snapped off. Or two, even those of you that shoot and you know how to, to hold a gun, you don't want your finger down the line either. You want to hold it like a dummy, just like you know nothing about what you're doing. And it's important to practice all these things very, very slowly. Don't worry about the speed that you get the technique down. It's a technique that's going to actually help you survive this. Okay, I'm going to bring my partner Fez in here. Don't let us look scary. He's a sweetheart. Anyway, <laughs> hey buddy, how you doing? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is on the gun defense in, in my school, we we start from very very basic, basic basic defenses. That's your from here, here. Okay. One is just gun in, in, in your belly, okay, or in your chest or anything. And I, I call it five points: one, two, three, four, five. But it's touching you. Now, some schools will have you move off the line like this cup it, and pull away. I don't like that because he can feel my movement and any kind of, any kind of that reaction from me, he's gonna pull the trigger. What I wanna do is get off the line. Okay, now, yes, I'm putting my back in him. Okay, I'm not gonna raise my hands or anything because he might tell me don't move. That, that means you don't raise your hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly lean down to secure this. He's gonna fight back for it, but immediately I'm gonna grab the barrel, I'm going to keep it pointed down like there's a laser on this gun and break it up in him, inside him. So the movement, when I'm down here, is I'm keeping it in here. And if his finger was in the trigger, it would snap right there. And I'm going to do it, up, break it up in, in, in like that. So gun defense number one, to the belly. Down, back away, and up. I'm moving my feet out of the way. Yes, I'm giving him my back for a second. Some of you say, well, what about a choke or another attack? Not worried about it. He's not worried about it. He's focused on the gun. Securing the gun, taking the gun away. Now, I'm going to do it fast, okay? <clears throat> and he said, no time. It's that fast, okay? And so the surprise element, of course, is good. If your hands are up, let's say he says, raise your hands slowly, you raise them to the gun. Not higher, not lower, because it's this. He doesn't want you to go bang as soon as I move. But that's my point. Okay? If I like going this way, if it's here, here, or here. Okay, because I don't want to turn all the way this way. I want it to get off. 
If he's got it stuck on the other side, I'm going to have to go the other way. So that's the one over here. All right, so this is the same gun defense. It's up here. He's even pushing me that way. I'm just going to go with it. Grab the barrel, break up and in, and so forth. Is that look good, Eric? So far? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that looking good? Does yep, that make yep, sense yep. to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so gun to the front. It's your choice, but if he's forcing me or if he's like pushing me or something, I'm just going to move off. You see what it does is it pulls him down. It surprises him. He's pushing, boom, up and in. So does that look clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Makes sense, bro? All right, <clears throat> that's when it's up, jammed up and in you. Uh, I do like cupping a friend of mine, a Royal Ganyan, who's a great, great Krav Maga instructor in Santa Monica, California, and, and very, very uh, well known throughout the world, likes cupping a lot. And cupping is this technique, and I like it too, when it's not up against me. When it's out a little bit, you gotta get off the line. It's gonna go bang. What you're gonna do, because you see, I, I don't have that defense. When it's not up against me, I gotta get off. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna cup it, from behind, break it through, and step back out. You see what it does to your wrist, brother? Okay? It's, it's, up, it's up in there. Boom, bang, it went off. I'm gonna come in and get it. Because he's, his reaction is, if I grab it, what are you gonna do? You're gonna pull back. And I'm gonna break it off in that. And he, he, my partner will tell you that the leverage on his wrist here, when I'm in here, is pretty severe. Oh yeah. And, and also, don't be bringing it around here in front of your face. It's, it's like my other, one of my students, Eric, Said, so imagine there's a laser and you've got people all around you, okay? So I'm here. You want to get it down, keep it down, and bring it back all the way back up through. So the gun is always going back to the person that's got it pointed to. If I'm on this side, I'm over here, this side, okay? And it's out there, okay? It's off. I'm coming in, breaking it away. Because again, once I do that, what are you going to do? Bye. Yeah, and then you're going to pull it away. See, and then we're fighting for it, okay? And then I've got to really use my leverage in jujitsu, wrist control and stuff to take it away. You may also want to describe, you always bring it down. The only way I can describe is that you bring, bring it down. down you center. make it look like a deck. Okay. You know, <laughs> I, don't know I'm I know, I'm always bringing it there. There's yeah. something Freudian about that, okay? But the thing is, I feel like if I'm not here and trying to control him, he's going to pull me all over the place. Once I pull that gun down, I'm down to here. I'm bringing it down to my core, and that's where my strength is. So I'm always pulling the gun, boom, down inside, and using my arms and stuff to stretch it out. You feel like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay? All right. So we've done gun in front, touching in front, you know, two, three feet away. But there's a point here, there's no gun defense. What is your gun defense here is be cool, right? And to maybe look for color. Because right now, I'm thinking, I've got an exit out there, I've got an exit out there, you know, and I've got to zigzag my way, because you're going to try to pop me, okay? But there's no defense for me. There's none of this out there. This is a myth. Whoa! That's a myth. I'm getting shot. You go, really? So, so we have to be smart about this. This handgun stuff, it's either got to be in, up, up close and personal, okay? And, and, and there's a point where you feel that your speed and agility, whoa! You know, and that's not even a good grab, but at least I got it out of the way. He's pulling it back, but I'm going to take it away. And the whole idea of this cupping thing is the gun gets off. You come up and in, because Fess is pulling me back. And then i got to come in, and we're fighting for it, and I'm just going to keep twisting and breaking this grip. Remember, your finger's in there, so that's going to get snapped, too. Uh, by the way, people ask me, too, about what about the little 380s, the little pocket guns and stuff? It's still the same with the hand. Like if it's his hand, it's still the same. It's going to be this. Follow? Mm -hmm. So, so there's, you know, I realize there's a barrel on this and everything too. Now, does that make sense so far? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Got it. All right. So gun in front to the chest, uh, lower. Uh, gun in front, uh, touching, and then gun in front, same. You know, a little bit further away. Okay. Now, there's a point where when it gets high. Okay. Whether he's here or it's right in my face. Okay, okay. That may work. I way prefer this. And if you go for that kind of defense, and I'm, I'm going to make a point later on, the reason why I like to train my students in this, and a big circle out and down in, you see what it does, okay? Because if, if I am down here and it's in my face, okay? That's the only thing I got. 
I, this, this isn't going to do me any good, but he's going to pull me. I can't get to the cup. I'm on my knees. So, if you drill this one in, it's right through the face, boom, it's down, and as you pull that face, I'm pulling up. this is going to pull me right up. And I'm going to turn the gun in. So, it's the same. I like to teach my, my students the same thing. Up up there. Get out of this line of fire. I've got it here. And just bend, bend it back into him. Make sense? Make sense? Like you? All right, you're next. Okay. okay. That was good, Eric? So, so far. Good. All right. Now, to the side. Let's say it's just side in front. Okay? And, and just, uh, it could be side and head. Okay. Now, you, 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 arm on, arm off. Okay. Now, here's the deal. I've got to get off the line. That's going to be the, the, off the line. I can't. Get my hand up and do this. There's no way he's gonna he's gonna go bang. He's gonna bang. Okay. Now, so the takeaway, boom, is in here. He's gonna be fighting for it. I've got to somehow control his wrist. If I'm here, that's better than nothing. If he takes it away, whatever, he pull, pull the gun away, brother. It's like I might have got shot there. So if he's got it inside of my head, okay, what am I gonna do? He feels any kind of movement, boom. Okay. I gotta come up and trap. Okay, you hold on to it. I gotta trap the gun because even if you start pulling, if you start pulling away, I'm just gonna keep it pointed at him and keep it in. So in other words, off the center line, here's the three things again, off center line. Okay, trap the weapon, take the weapon away. Again, it's up in the yeah, it's there, okay? Now he, he's, he's on the side here. I don't have this. And he's got it stuck in there. If I do this, I'm getting shot. If it was just kind of casually in there and I can do this. That's what they do. But if he's got it jammed in it, I've got to jam it into him. I've got to secure the weapon. And so if I stick it into him here, what's he going to do? Shoot. Yeah, you shoot. Yeah, you get shot in the arm or something, but it's better than the chest. So whatever the, the technique is, I mean, the, the control is by him. All right? I've got to go in, okay? I'm going to trap his arm, okay? And then just secure the gun. We're fighting for it, okay? We're fighting for it here. Do you have a better look at the hard grip on the Boom. Okay, it's in. Yeah. What are we going to do? We're fighting for the gun. Okay. Okay, then I go into. Same thing. I mean, it's all the same thing as you're going to go after that gun. you got to get it off the line. And a great way to drill is just whatever it is. Just how do you get it off the line? Um, you got back. What's that? You have back. Okay, middle so, left, left. So let's go. So if it's in the back. Okay, back. Right? You gotta get off the line. Now, what I like is to turn and secure this. He's fighting me for it, okay? I'm just gonna bend down, grab this thing, and come in. Okay, so slow motion is this. I'm here, off, it went off. I'm gonna trap, boom. Okay, we're fighting for the gun. What he's doing is he's pressing my whole body weight. See, I can stand there, now I've got the barrel. See what happens, bro? I just, just, just jump down, you know? So again, it's in the back, off, trap. If I want to clip them, fine, but I'm in, see what this is? Boom, grab the barrel, in, and step away. If he was left-handed, and I didn't know, okay, so this is where it gets hung up sometimes. Okay, and I go around. That's not a good trap. I mean, it's okay. It's okay, because what are you going to do there? Yeah, I mean, it's okay, at least I didn't get shot. Because I'm supposing, let's say I get really used to, a lot of people get used to turning a certain way. Okay, I'm here. I go, whoa. Then it's back into what we did in the beginning of pulling it in. And that's no different than doing this. What I did is, you hit left hand, brother. I'm turning, securing it, coming down, and pulling it away. Make sense? Making sense to you? All right. All right, um, what else, Eric? You yes. had, uh, back. yeah, you did back left, back middle, back right, so you just did both those. Okay. You had front kneeling, you had front under jaw. Back of the head, oh, okay. Front, uh, right, turn, turn a little more. Okay, all set in line. Now, okay. All set in line to me, you know, there's a lot of all set in lines. That's all set in line, but I can't tell where the gun is, so I tell everybody to get back and go back into him. So, you got jam up in there, brother, it's like, a, you know, it's like, boom. And what I'm doing is I'm trapping it. So if I go back at an angle, either, you know, I, I tend to have a tendency to go this way. Boom, it's gonna go off. Well, the gun's up here. 
If I'm quick enough, he's going to pull it back. I'm going to grab it. And if I grab it, however, I'll just do the break. Okay, right? Yep. Boom. Okay, and I haven't even talked about combatives yet, you know, when you're fighting for the gun. R remember, if we're tussling over this thing, hold your right hand up. Or I don't and, and if we're tussling, and, and it's like this and everything too, and, and there's no break here, okay, brother, it's like, you know, I mean, I can, I can hurt him from here, bam, you know, bam, and, and go for it. Itai Gill is really good at that. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a legendary crowd from a guy, uh, instructor, um, legendary, um, History Channel, Discovery Channel. Itai's always smacking everybody in the groin, always. When he takes the gun away, it's like he's got the gun away, bam, he's always smacking everybody. I'm, I, I'm for that too. You have, with the you gun in the back of the head, left hand, right hand doesn't matter. I'm back here. And what I'm doing is my hands, I come back, I see the gun, I trap the gun. Because that's what are you going to do? You're pulling it back, right? I'm just going to go ahead and just pull it right into you. Pull it right into you. And let's go from the side this way. Okay. So he's here. I'm here. Trapping the gun. Boom. You'll see some will do this. We'll come back, do an arm break. Okay. I think it's kind of risky. I like just going back, finding the gun, and whoa, this is left hand, okay? But look, the break is very simple. Keep it in. I don't need to bring it down to my core here. I just need to walk it around to it. You see what happens? Messes you all up in the hands and stuff. Too. You had back with one arm held. Okay, back with one arm. Or grab, one, yeah, grab an arm or something like that. Okay, same thing still. It's gotta be here. See, another thing, let me, let me say something too with that. It's, Clinically proven that anybody with a weapon, knife, or gun, stick, they're 100% focused on that weapon. 100% focused on the weapon. They have the weapon, that's their whole mindset. It's like it's the gun, it's the gun. And so there are always the, the, the detractors that will say, well, look, yeah, that's great. This guy's over hand, you clock in, they do it. That's true, too, but your, your main worry is the gun or the knife, okay, or the baseball bat, or the machete. So, I'm not really worried about a left hook at that point, okay? He's focused on the gun. So even if he's got my hand, when I do that, you're, you're not even thinking about that, right? No. He's not thinking about it, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is the same thing. He's got my arm, brother, right there. I'm back, and that's it. And see, even if I get this, he can still have my arm there, okay? And what he's doing is he's not putting any strength in it. What are you doing? You're just kind of no, controlling. It's just there. You're just controlling, right? Boom, oh, I still can get this. I still can get this. We're fighting for it here, that's fine. I'm going to be a pop him in. Now here, do we have a kick to the groin? Sure, you that knee to the groin. Boom, headbutt. Okay? So, of course, your combatives, if you're, if you're tussling over something, you could be kicking, elbow, whatever. But the idea is offset the line, secure the weapon, take the weapon away. It's the take the weapon away thing that, that gets, you know, very individualistic. That's where you improvise. Okay? Um, also, too, Eric, there's another, uh, oh, up under the jaw. Okay? If he's like, just got the jam up, you know, in the jaw. Okay, again, I can't turn this way. Just jam. Like, he's forcing me. If he's forcing me that way, I go with that. It's like if he's pushing me in the head. It's just, just, just it's like gangster style. It's like, boom, you gotta get away. Okay? Anybody that's pushing you along, you know, boom, is you gotta get away with this. Okay? So their movement, actually, if they're forcing you with a gun, is, it's, it's kind of easier to control them. You step side and you, you let their motion kind of hang them up. All right, let's see another one. Okay, okay, this is up and in. I don't have, on this one, all right guys, our videographers are love birds, by the way. Okay, Fez has got it up under my armpit, okay? And I don't feel, now, it's even worse, okay? Obviously, I can't do that, the gun's stuck. That's all I can do, right? So he's got it up in there, okay? Now if it's here, I gotta come in here. He's got it, whatever, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's bad, okay? Now, what's gonna happen if you pull away? Now I'm fighting for it, or you're trying to shoot me, right? And I'm just fighting for it, okay? And <clears throat> nothing's pretty. I mean, when you see, what I hate about the internet is there's, nobody's got exactly the right way to do everything. And we have to understand, it's like playing music, you have to improvise. We train many, many types of gun defenses, but ultimately it's going to be something, you know, the gun's going to be pointed at you like nothing you've seen, you know what you do. So you have to rely on your instincts and the same principles and stuff. He had it jammed up in me, I couldn't move anywhere. I had, the only way the gun could go was into him. Lift my arm up and push the gun into him. Um, Eric, anything else on this? You got side, all your sides. Okay, so 
Uh, if it's, if it's, uh, so if it's straight in the side here where I feel like I can get it away, okay, because it's in front of my arm, okay, that's a little, yeah, okay, now this is behind. Okay, so come on this side. Okay, so if it's behind here, I'm just going to simply pull it out, take it away. And this is a very basic move. It's here, boom, gun just went off. Trap the gun. Okay, secure it, and all I'm doing is breaking it back to him. I can't go down with it because it physically won't go. Do you want to discuss how to grab the barrel? What's that? How to grab the barrel. Discuss how to, how to grab the barrel? Yeah, yeah discuss oh, well, usually how to grab the It all depends on where the gun is. If the gun's low, you know, you, this is a good grasp on the gun, okay? Not here, he can control me there. Also, you run the danger in training of sticking your thumb through there. And you want to, um, it just depends. If it's here, it's underneath. Okay? Hands on both sides. If it's up, boom. Both sides. Clamp it in. Circle out and down in. So you're always bringing it back. If I'm pushing the gun away like this, this is always a break. This is always a break. This is very, this is very basic stuff. Even if I couldn't get it, if it's, let's say it's, it's here, and I can't get it this, right? Jeez, yeah. Boom, oh, right, you see? That was the only thing I could do. I'm gonna grab the gun, okay? And either, if he's got a good, really good grip on it, I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna use my own. Yeah. You like grabbing the top, though. I, I like grabbing the top, but it all depends on where the gun is. It, it just depends. Again, so if it's in front of me here and I can get off, what I'm gonna do is this, okay? But if Fez has got it jammed in me or I, I can't even go like this, I've gotta go this way. Okay, then I'm going to trap, and I'm sneaking my arms in there, right? So it's here, boom, it went off. You're going to go, what the hell, and you know, you're picking it up, and it's right, and then, then maybe it's here, and we're fighting for it. But what, what do we do here? This becomes the gun in the face. From here, just turn it down. Boom, he's giving me his groin right now. Wow, you know, then I'll take it away. Mm -hmm. All right, what else? You had side back, side, you had both sides. Oh, side back, okay, so the... You did both, both in front and behind? You do both in front, yeah. Okay, this is the same thing. Off, trap. Clip them if I want, grab the gun, back in. Okay, again, it's off, trap if I want it. Now, he just, this, this is just what happens. Sometimes stuff like this will happen when I've got this. I've got to be careful. Boom. Every time the gun's going to go, back in time. He had back holding arms, arm free, arm held. Arm, all right. Which one, Eric? Uh, there, it, it just said back with arm. Yeah, that could be one. Okay, all right. Boom. I mean, see, now here's the thing, right? He's got here. Okay, again, if I go this way, I have, I've got, I'm, you know, he's still got a grip here, and that's off the center line, but he's just going to pull it out and shoot it again, or crack. All right, so again, okay, it's again, it's, see? Because you're not even thinking about that, are you? Okay, so he's got a grip, even if he's got a grip here, it doesn't matter. See what I'm doing? I'm, I'm off the center line. I got off the center line, and then see, I just improvise that. I could be punching you, but I'm thinking about Yeah, yeah, he's punching me. And, and by, by the way, that works both ways. Crack, boom. You want to do the bank hostage meat shield where he's got you choked with the gun? Bank hot, where you got him, in, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, now, there, there's only one way for the gun to go, everybody. Which way is that? To his face. It's got to be to his face. It's got to be this way. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, did I smack you in the face? I'm sorry. No, no, it's good. Okay, so anyway, he's got it jammed up here. This is all movement. I'm going to get shot, okay? Now, again, for those of you that go, well, wait a minute, if he's in assassination type mode, I'm already dead. Okay? You're, a meat, you're a meat shield. Okay, so anyway, so <laughs> it's like it's back. Okay, what are you going to do? You're going to shoot, huh? Right? And we're fighting for the gun. Okay, boom. I'm out and in. He, yes, he's got this grip on, but again, where's your, where's your, that, that's just more just to keep me from going anywhere, right, brother. In, other, focus. in other words, he's not choking me out. He, he, first of all, he can't choke me out with one hand. Okay, now that's bad. Okay, it's right in my ear. Boom. Okay? I mean, what, what else can I do? What, mm -hmm. else can, what else can anybody do in this space? This guy's up in there, and that's up in my jaw. It's like, <clears throat> right here, fighting. Boom. That's it. Okay? Um, again, there's not, there's not, nothing's perfect. It's not a perfect world, you know? People get shot all the time. Um, but he's being, Fess is being real creative on this because you will see gun defenses are all, it's like anything in martial arts. You see knife defenses, gun defenses, 
Um, what you have to do is you have to practice all these scenarios and learn how to improvise. Again, it's like playing an instrument. You learn certain scales and everything. You, you know when to put them in, when to go in and out of a certain particular phrase or something. And this is the same thing. Martial arts and music are very, very akin, I think. Do you want to do the wall? Uh, yeah, we can do the wall thing. I can zoom. Um, hey, we'll use this as well. No, no, I got, dude, I can zoom all the way down, I think. Okay. Uh, I think sure? so. Yeah, thing? yeah, I'm full. But how are you going to see the side of the wall? Oh. I, well, here, let me unplug it. Yeah, 